One last thought before we go. It's really important for us to think about this from a larger context, a much larger context. What I've hopefully started to get you thinking about today is how values are a far more powerful way for you to succeed with the work that you have to do and the important conversations that you're here to have over the next couple of days. And I applaud you all for taking the time from your busy schedule to be here and do this. It will make you more successful. But here's the important piece. The longer we continue to use demographics to try and understand each other, the longer we end up resorting to stereotypes. Because if we know that the people we're trying to engage and influence and motivate and inspire are 73% female, what are you gonna do with that? You make everything pink? <laughs> it sounds hilarious, but I challenge you to go into a toy store and look at the pink toys and the blue toys and tell me that stereotypes are not clear and present in the way our companies, our organizations, and our own brains approach the world. And those stereotypes themselves are not the worst problem. The biggest problem is those stereotypes fuel ageism, racism, sexism, homophobia, dot, 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 dot. I don't need to stand here and tell you the rest of that list. These demographically defined problems that we're grappling with around the world today and not, in many cases, doing a very good job of. So here's the good news to end on. It's an easy fix, a really easy fix. All we need to do is change the way we look at people. You don't need to build new factories. You don't need to invest in a lot of software. You don't need to go through massive organizational change. You just need to change the way you think about people. And start with yourself. What are your values? And move out a ring. What are the values of the people that I love? What are the values of the people I work with? What are the values of the people that my job requires I understand so that I can convince them to do something I'd like them to do? And if we all leave this room today just changing the way we look at people, our values will bring us together. Our values will unite us. Our values are the answer. Thank you.